Hey everyone, the problem that I have chosen to go over today is problem number 13 in the homework section of uh, section 4.6. So this problem is an exponential equation that has a base of e. So our first step is going to be to move the 10 over to the other side. So we are going to add 10. Then we are going to get e r plus 10 equals negative 32. The next step at this point is going to be to take the natural log of both sides. Well, we know that the natural log and e to the x are inverse functions. So if we take the natural log of this, we will actually be left with r plus 10 and then we are taking the natural log of negative 32. Okay, at this point, we can't really go any further because you can't take the natural log of a negative number. It's undefined because natural log is defined only for values greater than zero. So that's it. Thanks. First thing you do is you take a look at this side right here, and as you can see, the ba they have the same base, so you would have to rewrite it and c cancel one out. And then bring down the other side. So, since you have the same base again, you would cancel both of them out, and then you would solve on this side give you x squared plus x equals 2. So the next thing you would do is you would move over the 2 and set this whole problem equal to 0. So you can get negative 2 equals 0. And then you can factor this out to give you x plus 2 and x minus 1 equals 0. So then the next thing you would do is you would separate them and set each one equal to 0. So then here you subtract by 2 and then you get x equals negative 2. Now on this side you add 1 to give you x equal to 1. So negative 2 won't work because you cannot plug a negative into a log function. So therefore your answer would be x equals 1. To solve this logarithmic equation, the first thing would be to get rid of the exponents. And to get rid of exponents, you need you need to use a natural log or a log. So in this case, I'm going to be using a natural log and doing it to both sides. And that's the clear part of this. So you wouldn't have to use the clear move and factor divide. And then the second part, the second step would be to bring out the exponents to the front. So you would do this. Move them out to the front. And the equation would look like this. So x plus 1, since we brought that out, and then the natural log of 2 equals 2x plus 1, and the natural log of 5. And the third step would be to distribute the natural log into these exponents that we took out. So it would look like, like this. So that goes into there and this one goes into that. So it would be x natural log of 2 plus the natural log of 2 equals, oh we're doing this to the side too, so 2x natural log of 5 plus 
ln5. Now the fourth step is to put like terms on each side. So on this side and on this side, we would have to subtract l, not ln, the natural log of 2 minus on that side. And then take this side, this part, so this one, and put it on this side. Now these cancel out, and you're left with this. And you can't subtract that because there's nothing like that's in common on this side. So you will be left with x natural log of 2 minus 2x natural log of 5 equals this cancels out and you're left with this natural log of 5 minus natural log of 2 then um, the fifth step would be to factor out on this side since we do have an x in common here so you need to take that out and it would be like this ln Two minus two ln five like that, and then this number right here would have to go back because we can't do anything unless that is gone. So since we did it up here, like this is the exponent, and we took it out, it looks like this. So this one we would have to put it back. So like it would look like this. So it would go right here. So that would be a 2 right here. So it would be the natural log of 25. Because 5 times 5 is 25. And this is what you're left with. Like that. And don't forget the equal sign. So in that section we did in 4, I don't remember what it was. But it was expanding. There was a rule that had to do with how, for example, if it was like this something like that the rule was this was positive and this was negative let me just erase that so on this side it would be x times the natural log and then this one this 2 is positive so it goes on top and this 25 is negative so it would go on the bottom and then don't forget the equal sign again. And then leave that there. We can go on to this one. Since we did the same thing, we're going to do the same thing we did here to here. So the ln, the natural log of 5, because remember that's positive, to the bottom, because that's negative. So now our step, we're going to, our, our seventh step, our seventh step is to solve for x so you would put that x right here equals now to get it alone you would have to divide by ln 2 25 so that can cancel out and since you did it to the to this um side you have to do it to the other side so it would be l natural log of 2 and 25 and this right here would be your answer so your, for, for your x, it would be the natural log of 5 over 2 over the natural log of 25 over 2. And since you can't simplify that, that's your answer.